Good morning, John, again. Second attempt. Good morning, take two. Sorry about that little confusion there, but we're back now. Uh, thank you for your patience and your indulgence. Um, it's been a while since we've done this, you know? We forget some stuff. Um, uh, as I was saying before, I've missed you. I've missed doing this show. Um, and I've just, I've missed playing music for you. This, as most of you know, well, most of you know that I had some surgery back in November. And um, it, was, it was pretty serious, pretty invasive open heart surgery. I'm not going to dwell on it. I'm not going to talk much about it because we've already been there and done that. And uh, I'm recovered from it now and it's time to move on. But the recovery did take a while. So this today, right now, is the first performance that I have done for anybody, anywhere, of any kind, online, offline, anywhere, in uh, about three months. So... It's, uh, I'm looking forward to it, and I hope you are too, and uh, it feels good to be back. So, welcome to all of you. I'm going to kick things off with a song this morning. Uh, it's just a fun little song that I like to do. It's a cover song. Um, it's not too serious. It's just, it's just a nice little song. It was written by uh, Rodney Crowell, and recorded by Rodney Crowell, and by Emmy Lou Harris and by Rodney Crowell and Emmy Lou, Emmy Lou Harris, and the Oak Ridge Boys, a bunch of people have done it. I hope you enjoy this. It's just a fun little romp. This is uh, Leaving Louisiana by the Broad Daylight. <laughs> So broken hearted She said, Mama, gotta go, gotta get out of here Gotta get out of town, tired of hanging around Got to roll on between the ditches It's just an ordinary story about the way things go Round and around, nobody knows that the highway Goes on forever Oh, that old highway goes on forever Now she never would have done it if she hadn't got drunk If she hadn't started running with a traveling man If she hadn't started taking those crazy chances She said, daughter, let me tell you about the traveling kind Everywhere they're going such a very short time They'll be long gone before you know it Yeah, they'll be long gone before you know it broad daylight Well this is down in the swampland anything goes It's alligator bait and the bars don't close It's a real thing down in Louisiana well, Have you ever seen a Cajun when it really got mad When it really got trouble like a daughter gone bad It gets real hot down in Louisiana So now the stranger better The shotgun will, this ain't no time for lengthy speeches. This ain't no time for lengthy speeches. Never have I known it when it felt so good. Never have I knew it when I knew I could. Never have I done it when it looked so right. Leaving Louisiana in the broad daylight. It's just an ordinary story about the way things go. Yeah, that old highway goes on forever Yeah Leaving Louisiana, yes Many people are with us today Oh, good Karen from 
Nashville. Hey, Karen. Good and, to see you here. And Angelina and Sean King and um, Marilyn and Gary Glasser and Marty Axelrod. Looking hey, forward, Marty. Looking forward to your gig on the 29th. Yes, we are. Um, more about that. Well, this is as good an opportunity as any. Um, and also I, Jimmy Hunter. Hey, Jimmy. Welcome back. Good to see you here, too. Um, I, uh, since Hillary just mentioned the 29th, I will go ahead and say that uh, for any of you who live out, out here in the local uh, San Fernando Valley, L.A. area, I will doing, I'll be doing my first live performance on a stage in a, in a venue um, on January 29th, which is Tuesday. I believe it's a week from this coming Tuesday. And um, it's a songwriter showcase hosted by J.C. Hike. It's called Songwriter Serenade. I will be the featured guest that night, or one of the featured guests, and he's going to give me a little extra time, because we'll be celebrating my birthday. And um, so uh, I'll be there with a bunch of other really cool songwriters, and among them, Marty Axelrod, who uh, is with us today. Marty has been a guest on this show, and a very fun show that was, and Marty has some just wonderful songs, and I'm looking forward to hearing you, buddy. Um, and I'll be baking so, a cake, and those of you who know me know that's a really a miracle, but um, I do it every year for John's birthday, and I'm bringing it to the Songwriter Serenade. And we will be sharing it. And yes, Jimmy Hunter. We're doing Hunter, it that way because she doesn't want me to get too much of it. <laughs> Jimmy Hunter, we'll see you at NAMM. <coughs> Good to know that, Jimmy. Yeah, we'll be at the NAMM show next weekend. So um, I'm gonna—I don't want to do too much talking in one in one place here. So I'm gonna plow right on ahead with another song, and um, and then I'll talk some more. See how that works. Um, this is an older song that I used to play all the time. I used to play it almost every time I played. And then when I started doing these weekly shows, um, I started playing it less frequently than I used to because I didn't want to overdo it. I didn't want some of you to get saturated with hearing me play the song too often. But it's been a while since I've played to anybody anywhere at all. And, um, uh, and it's been a while since I've played this song. So I'm a, I figure what better time than the, our comeback show to go ahead and lay this one on you. Um, this is the only one of my recorded songs that appears on not one, not two, but three of my albums. It first came out on Still Here back when I lived in Nashville, uh, studio recording, and it, then it came out again on my live, uh, solo acoustic live CD, no overdubs, and most recently it's on my current album, M6. Uh, we did an, an updated re-recording of it in the studio for that record with some wonderful people playing on it. Nick Kirgo on guitar, Chad Watson on bass, Dave Beyer on drums, and uh, Elise Guile on vocals. And uh, there is a video uh, which was filmed largely at the, uh, at the recording session on YouTube for any of you who care to check it out. But this is um, my solo version of it. Uh, this is my mother and me, I hope you like it. How to tie my shoe, how to walk and how to run, how to talk and how to listen. One to one. She taught me how to write my name, and how to write a song. She taught me how to play the game, right from wrong. She taught me how to walk in the light. Live by the golden rule and Sometimes how to stand there and fight but My mama didn't raise no fool What you see is what you get And if you like what you see Look a little closer That's my mother in me Taught me to be faithful, chapter and verse, and how not to be wasteful with this planet. 
bitter And she told me life is sacred And love is divine And prejudice and a hatred Are diseases of the mind She taught me how to walk in the light And live by the golden rule And sometimes how to stand and fight My mama didn't raise no food Closer. That's my mother and me. And you can see it in the places I've been to. You can see it in the things I believe. You can see it in the things that I mean. Mark of my mother in me. Now in your eyes I'm a stranger, and in her eyes I'm a star. And I can still remember when she bought my first guitar. And I go where my heart leads me now, with the wind at my heels. I am what my mother made me, and I like the way it feels. Hey, she taught me how to walk in the light and live by the golden rule. And sometimes how to stand and fight. My mama didn't raise no fool. What you see is what you get, and if you like what you see, look a little closer. That's my mother in me What you see is what you get And if you like what you see I look a little closer That's my mother in me Were you singing along, Karen, on that one? Karen sang the background vocals on the original recording of that on Still Here, Karen Angela Moore in Nashville. Um, that, was, that was fun for me. This whole show was fun for me. Um, uh, I want to mention a couple of things. You know, during the three weeks that we've been gone, much of that time, of course, was spent with me recovering from, uh, from the aforementioned surgery. Um, and so I, I gradually became more and more active. But... Uh, that wasn't the only thing we were focused on during that three months. And actually, during the time we were gone from Facebook Live, a couple of pretty cool things happened that I would like to share with you. One of them was that uh, Music Connection magazine, in their December issue, the last month of last year, uh, I should have I looked and seen where this was. Uh, oh, there, I opened right to it. How about that? Um, they compiled a list of the top 100 unsigned live acts for 2018. And that right there is me. They named me as one of the top 100 live acts. Um, and it's an honor. So um, I want to I wanna say thank you. A big shout out to... Music Connection magazine, they, they did, uh, uh, last year they did a, a really nice uh, review of one of my live shows at the coffee gallery out here, and uh, as I say, they listed me, they named me as one of the top 100 live acts, so I, I feel really kind of proud and, and certainly honored to, uh, to be on that list and in some very good company. My thanks to Music Connection magazine, who is a, a, a supporter and sponsor of this show, and also a shout out specifically to Eric Batelli, uh, the owner of Music Connection Magazine, who just happens to be celebrating his birthday today. Happy birthday, Eric. How old are you now? Like it was 41, 42, something like that. Anyway, um, 
happy birthday to you, and uh, thank you for your support of me and my music and this show. It's much appreciated. The other cool thing that happened, and I'm only going to talk about it a little bit because uh, we're going to be talking about it more later on a future show, but um, as you all know, I'm a songwriter, and I've written a fair amount of songs, but I have only in my whole entire life written one book, and there it is. I've been talking about this for a couple of years. It took me several years to write it. And um, it took me years to write it. Will you take a look? Anyway, um, it, is, it is my book. It's uh, Performance Matters by John M. Uh, it isn't just me pontificating on, on uh, performance. There's also commentary in there by some very cool people. David Wilcox, Ronnie Cox, Freebo, um, uh, Lisa Nemzo, a bunch of, bunch of really great uh, pro performers. Alex Del Zopo, who was the founding member of the band Sweetwater, who was the first band to play on stage at Woodstock. So uh, they all have a lot to, to add about uh, the ins and outs and do's and don'ts and rights and wrongs of performance. And um, so it's, it is, you know, I, I was talking about it for years. I'm writing this book. It's going to be done very soon, blah, blah, blah. It's done. It's out, it's published, it's on Amazon.com. If you go to Amazon.com and you search for Performance Matters by John M., you will find it in both paperback versions and in Kindle uh, versions. So, uh, and John will put a link on the comments. Yes, I will put a link in the, on, the, on the thread, on the comments to the show. So, um, thank you, Hillary, for that. So... Um, for those of you who are interested in such things, uh, if there's anybody in my audience who actually still reads books, um, I encourage you to go and check that out. Uh, I, I feel really good about it. I'm, I'm quite proud of it. Um, moving ahead, since that's really what this whole show this morning is about, I'm going to do another old song. This one... This is one of my personal favorites, just as a song. Um, however, it, I don't play it all that much. It's, it's, it's probably not my most commercial song. It's not my most up-tempo song. And I do play it from time to time, but it, it tends to kind of fall by the wayside to make room for other songs. And um, so I don't play it always as much as I would like to, but since, uh, since this show is about bringing things back, and resurrecting things and so forth, I thought, once again, what better time? Yes. Please say hi to Trisha Howell, also a hey. birthday girl from yesterday. Hey, Trisha. Thanks for joining us. It's good to see you here. Truly. Okay. This was written back when I lived in Nashville. Um, I was between relationships at the time. And that's kind of what this song is about. It's called, I Wish I Was In Love. Hope you like it. I saw them standing by the water, feet barely touching the ground. The air between them didn't move Standing there as if to prove No one could ever bring them down I know that feeling all too well I thought I'd never fall I had it all and then I fell You 
don't know when you'll get the feeling Or who you'll be feeling it for At the most inconvenient time It'll cross your heart and rob you blind And leave you crying for more And when you make your feelings known No price is too high You'd rather die than be alone Love will make you cry And love will make you fight I wish I was in love tonight Oh, it's hard, I know But even so I wish I was in love Um, I wish I was in love. I just have um, a couple of real quick announcements, and we're going to close this thing out. But um, we, as I said, we are back. Um, it's uncertain whether there's going to be a show next Sunday. We don't currently have one planned because Hillary and I are going to be down in the OC, as we say out here in California, for the NAM convention. And as some of your, some of the longtime viewers among you may remember. The last time we tried to do a show from down there, it was kind of a disaster. So we're probably going to be off next Sunday morning, but we'll keep you posted on that if that changes. Um, and then starting the following week, um, which is February 3rd, we are going to be back on our regular schedule. We're going to be back here every Sunday morning, just like we were for the past two years. And we already have a bunch of really cool guests lined up for the coming weeks. I'll just tell you a few of them. Cool House will be our first guests on February 3rd, uh, featuring Dolly Ramirez and J.J. Shock. They're a really cool duo that um, we, we got a brief glimpse of them at the Far West Convention at a show we did from back there, but uh, they're, they're gonna be featured guests next week. I'll interview them and, and they'll play some songs and stuff. And I'm gonna be doing a house concert for them uh, the, following, the following week, the following Sunday. Um, on February 17th, None other You're than... You're actually going to be playing at Ocean View Bar and Grill that night. Not the night of the 3rd. It's the following week. Oh, the following week? Okay. Yes. But, but, but you're right. It is Ocean View Bar and Grill in, uh, in Montrose. So uh, more on that later. Then on February 17th, uh, the one, the only Paul Zolo, himself a successful published author, um, who uh, has been helping me a little bit with my book, is going to be back here. We're going to do a part two of uh, an interview, him interviewing me, which we started last uh, last year. And it'll kind of go back and forth. I'll interview him a little bit too. But we're going to be talking about a bunch of, bunch of cool stuff. And of course, he will play some of his songs, as he always does. He's an excellent, excellent songwriter. And uh, just a cool guy. Um, and, and very deeply entrenched in a lot of different areas of the music business. So I'm looking forward to having him back. Karen Tobin will be here on February 24th, another first time guest and uh, looking forward to having her as well. And there's, there, there will be more, but I don't want to beat it to death. There are some, some guests who are pending still and so forth. Yes. Say hi to Julie Zipper. Julie Zipper, welcome. Thanks for watching. It's good to see you here. Um, thank you and John. Uh, immensely for all your help uh, during my recovery and and just in general you guys are you guys are good people the so, best the best yes the best Hillary says so um 
I think I've rambled on enough. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close things out with this one last song. And uh, as I said before, I don't want to dwell on the surgery. As a matter of fact, this show is going to be the last time I mention it uh, here on SML. Um, it's, we've talked about it. We've, you know, I've told you the story of it. I have recovered from it. It's time to move on. That's what the show is, is about, moving on. But I do have to say that um, I've never written a song about this incident in my life or about any kind of surgery or medical issues or anything like that. But I do have a song or two about the heart and about hearts in general. And I find that having been through something like this, a song like the one I'm about to play takes on a, a whole added dimension. It doesn't really change it for me. I still, when I play the song, I still think of it the way I thought of it before in terms of the incidents that were happening in my life back then that inspired me to write it and uh, the people that inspired me to write it and so forth. Um, but it just, it just, as I say, it takes on an added dimension that I can't help thinking about that as well. And uh, so I want to share this with you. This is another very special song for me. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for joining us. And um, we look forward to many more of these. It's, it, I consider it a gift to be able to come back here and do what I love and share it with you guys. Yes. Yes, John Zipper and J.C. Hike just joined. Hey, welcome to both of you. Um, if you're just joining us now, the show, of course, will be posted as it always is on my Facebook page, and you'll be able to see the rest of it. J.C. Hike, I did already plug my gig with you on the 29th. So, anyway, this is, uh, this is on my live CD. This is called Some Hearts. So I said that I can't live without you Yet living without you I am Oh, I cursed and I cried But I'm doing all right like a cat on my feet I did land Yes, I pulled the knife out You're out of my life now Finally I'm free of your spell I control my own destiny now You can't mess with me now That's what I tell myself Some connections can never be broken Some dreams can never be real Some thoughts should never be spoken Some hearts can never be healed If the past is always a memory If the future is always a dream and the present is always the moment that falls in between What is gone and what's never been seen God only knows why you left me Oh, but the devil Yes, you did your job well, led me right into hell, and I followed you into those flames. But that's all behind me now, I'm doing fine, and I'm no longer pining away. I no longer miss you, I don't wish I was with you, and if you came back here today. Some connections can never be broken Some dreams can never be real Some thoughts should never be spoken 
Some hearts can never be healed If the past is always a memory If the future is always a dream Then the present is always the moment that falls in What is gone and what's never been seen I just got a thumbs up from Hillary. Thank you, my dear. Um, that's going to that's gonna do it for us for this morning. Um, this, is, this has been a, a real joy for me. And... Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it too. I love performing music. I love playing music, writing music, and I love playing the guitar, which I, I went a couple of months without touching the guitar during my recovery. And so I've been, I've been practicing a lot, trying to get back up to speed on that. And it's just, it's just great to be back doing what I love to do and sharing it with all of you. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you for watching. Please tell your friends about it. Uh, feel free to like this show and share this episode. Uh, wherever you might be so inclined to do that. J.C. Hike and others, I will see you, and Marty Axelrod and the rest of you, I will see you guys on the 29th, uh, where we'll be celebrating my birthday. And to the other people that I've mentioned, thank you. I look forward to seeing you soon. Hillary, any, any, uh, anything you'd like to share? Anything at all? Anything? Yes, thank you, John. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for letting me share, and thanks for everybody for showing up. It's really great to be back and have a great week.